Last time on Tales of Berseria. And I'm sick of murdering scum like you! I know no limits! For I am Zabine! <laughs> what does that even Zabine? mean? Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to... I almost just said Danganronpa. <laughs> welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Last time, the entire world came down. Well, not, not really. But, um, I'm just, I'm surprised at how much story there is packed into the end of the game. Like, it, it's a very weird feeling because they put a lot of things in the middle of the game that are just kind of like jokes and nothing really happens. And I'm not too sure how much I like that formula. I like it because there's a huge payoff at the end, but I think if they sprinkled some of these story elements and reveals throughout the story rather than being like, a few things that happen in the end, and just a big explosion of information and exposition, then there's an issue. But, I'm still enjoying this game, nonetheless. I haven't gotten a chance to grind or do anything, because... I always stop at points where there's more story stuff, and it's a pain to record, like, three minutes, and then just go and grind for days, and then put the footage together. It's just a complete pain. So, let's talk to Grimoire. Resurrect the Elemental Empyreans. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malachim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malachim at all, just like before. Of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll... accept whatever happens. But these elemental Empyreans... they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll oh, great. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst... If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. We have to kill someone? The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. All that's needed is a soul free of malevolence. Wait, what? What? It's not essential? That means that Artorius didn't have to- Alright, whatever. Whatever. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect. You're a Therian. You're capable of releasing the power you absorb. The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's worth a try, at least. When's the next Scarlet Night? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Ah, uh, how lucky. Do we have enough time? The four Empyreans are asleep in different places, right? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. And what is that? A life pool? Earth Pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth Pulse's base, forming a life pool. Though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward into what's called a life spring. Oh, so if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand, but I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean throne! We can't go there, it's Inominat's home base! Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll have to go against its flow, but... We'll force the soul right down its throat. Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killeraus. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killeraus? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand, but it's a hellscape of ice and lava! Naturally. Killeraus is the most powerful life spring there is. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. That should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. 
Together, they will seal off Inominat's domain. I think the weird part about Zavid getting all angry at Aizen and being like, this isn't the last you'll hear of this or whatever, is the fact that Zavid just straight up refuses to kill people, apparently, and he's also threatening Aizen at the same time, meaning that what is he going to do? <laughs> it's just a theory, but... It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Then we're off to Northgand. Mount Killeraus is north of Helavis. Okay, then. Has he told him yet? The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't oh, have I... a problem. If you've got a grudge, we can settle it here and now. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. The no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're not so pathetic that we need pity from some lord of calamity. All right. The ship's in your hands. Aye, aye. You can count on us. The Von Eltia looks the same as ever. But it feels utterly different, doesn't it? Yeah. Even Benwick looked like he'd been crying. I can imagine. But if we let ourselves despair now, we'd be a disgrace to Eifried's creed. We have to swallow our anger and grief. And sail on. Right. Following a creed isn't always pleasant. We must do what we must. I won't allow the Abbey to do things like this. Destroying someone like that. Turning them into a puppet. It's unconscionable. Still, a heart can never be fully bridled. It can be shattered, but never erased entirely. Eifried proved that. Right. His body is gone, but he lives on through his crew. Magilu is right. What lives in one's heart can never be erased. Yeah, the heart is eternal. All right then, let's set sail. I'm not sure we can just go anywhere we want now or is... No, we cannot. Okay, that's fine by me, actually. Let's go to Hellraise then. One thing I've always kind of disliked about Tales games, I know it's inevitable that it has to happen, I always feel like the writers can make up some object in the world, and I, I don't know what it is about it, but it, it feels like the rules are taught to us throughout the entire story of how the world works, and then when it's convenient, like, people just turn around and go, oh, but there's this thing called the blank 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 that allows us to do blank. And I don't know, I know it's, like, essential for writing, but it feels really weird, and Tales games do it a lot, where, like, they have some plot device that they just bring out of nowhere at, like, a convenient time. No, bird, come back. I miss you. <laughs> I see. Or a calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it, but I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are without a doubt the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Not as good as Shigure's. Even now. You would still place your trust in me? Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Stormhowl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? <laughs> Not in the least. <laughs> so happy, considering everything around us is going to crumble and die. We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. 
He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so we know me not should still be incomplete. But if his powers fully awaken, humanity will be robbed of their free will. I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed. Oh my God! If we're out with the mustache and again. The world is free of malevolence. Hurrah! Hurrah! Robbing <laughs> humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Oh, something's coming! Is it finally the sea monster I've been waiting for for like a millennia? We're gonna get an actual ooh, actual cutscene. There's uh, Tabarn. And uh, generic landmass. And something the Abbey is doing. Um, that is so much worse than I thought it was. Please, guys, let's not fight! <laughs> this is a domain? Domain. So I guess it only affects weak people? <sighs> or something? Their wills have been stolen! It's not been fully sealed away yet. Rokuro, give him a good smacking! Wake him up! On it! What does Rokuro Reason. have to do it? Got it. We'll put in at the nearest harbor. To Port Zexon! Wait, to wake people out of it, do you just have to smack them? Is that it? I guess we'll just have to go on a journey uh, and punch everyone. I feel like some jerk played tug of war with my brain. Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. Uh-oh. Look! It's that merchant! You're all right! I do not deserve to be all right. What? I... used people. Stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. My soul is black with ugliness and can is he gonna never be forgiven. Jump in the ocean? Huh? No, wait. Stop! The world well, needs Eleanor to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. I have to die. I have to die. No, it's not right. I swear, like, this is turning into some Yoko Taro stuff right here. <laughs> you can die if you want, but saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorius's uncompromising world of reason. First they steal humanity's rudder. And now they want to say who lives and who dies? We should find out what's happening here. Unless you'd rather not see. You're right. I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Before anything else, we'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. 
I almost completely forgot. Okay, we're gonna take the mustache off of Mogalu finally. <laughs> it was a fun ride, mustache, but you have to leave the Mogalu train eventually. Here, instead, you can have a. Uh... Yeah, you're good. <laughs> so Anyways, this, this is, is the result of their ceremony of suppression. Seems that way. They've brought their peace to mankind. This is way worse than I thought. If we're, if Artorius sees this and does not regret it, I feel like he is uh, way past the point in which anything in him can be saved because this is uh, not exactly living. You know me not suppression. Is this the ideal world the Abbey envisions? Bien! There's no life in anyone's eyes! This isn't a fun place at all! It's not just people's minds being shackled. They're being forced to die, too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? My question is, why doesn't Nomi not care what people do in the world? Like, it seems completely away from what he even cares about. Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens, it's better to end the life of the sinner. Melkier came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Anyway, we need to get to Logris. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Anominat's power spread? When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns too. His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, oh, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet or... Well, it's not happening everywhere. I mean, there's the people on the weird Hawaii. Oh, wait, they're all dead. Never mind. Dead by their own hands. Inominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what exactly? Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. I'd prefer a living damnation to that oblivion. Well, don't come crying to me later. Let's move along then. They're such good friends now. <laughs> Makes me wonder though, there is a sequence in the uh, intro to the game. A sequence that looks nothing like what actually happens in the game for the most part. But there's a sequence in which Eleanor is fighting uh, Velvet at some point. You know, it's kind of like maybe a spoiler, it may just be something that's in there and got placed somewhere else. Because we did fight Eleanor at one point. Although it was in a different place than where the game showed it. So I'm imagining that Eleanor is probably going to have... Uh, like, free will stripped from her at some point. I was a fool for trying to sell commemorative chalices to the people visiting the Empyrean's throne. Happiness can't be bought with ill-gotten gains made through deception. In an effort to change my malevolent ways, I sold my shop and entered the Holy Priesthood. Rather than pursue my own greed, I've chosen to dedicate my life to bringing the sacred teachings. What are you talking about? If people bought them and they're happy, you haven't, like, scammed them or anything. They're just happy with their things. Wow. Look how shiny and pure he is. So this is what happens when Inominat suppresses all of someone's sins and desires. How nauseating. And this is the kind of world they're trying to create. First, I took nectar to escape all my hardships. Then I drank to run from all my pain. Even if I resisted, endured the pain, nothing changed. I've spent my life running. I'm pathetic. But I won't run anymore. I'm disposing of all the drinks in town. What the world needs now isn't dependence, but freedom. And I'll see that we have it. Hey now, that's the kind of repentance that should only come the morning after a night of fun and too much drink. And if you're afraid of losing yourself, drinking is a far better option than falling under Enominot's control. It's basically the same thing if you think about it. Hey, you're Kakiku's menagerie. Ooh, close. <laughs> it's Magilu's menagerie. I apologize for always demanding that you entertain me, despite my inability to even remember your name correctly. 
I'm also sorry to you, miss, for always insisting you do that tedious little bird impression of yours. <laughs> I feel so bad I could just punch myself. Nay, I must. I'm not sure if I'm more angry or confused. It is wrong to seek pleasure from viewing petty tricks and pointless entertainment. Honest hard work alone is right. Someone such as I, who was unable to live in accordance to the simplest of truths, should disappear from this earth. Please, use that special trick you told me of. Make me disappear forever. <laughs> if you guys don't remember, earlier on when Velvet was asking him to do, or when he was asking Velvet to do the bird impression, she's like, I have a trick that'll make you disappear forever. And the dude got kind of scared. That's awesome that they actually kind of thought about some of these events that happened early on, even if they're not particularly the most important and they're kind of referencing them now. But dude, you're fine. I mean, that's what all my subscribers do. They just watch some petty entertainment. That's fine though. <laughs> Thank you for watching my petty entertainment. Uh, okay. Let's get more life bottles. Honestly, life bottles are the only thing I really need. You can heal yourself, but the problem is... If you're afflicted with any status ailment, you can't, which makes healing annoying, and half the time I just rather let people die. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. Wow, that's menacing music even out here near these weak enemies. Are you going to jump off the bridge and die? We Just telling you, you probably that won't we die. All grow old. I can no longer perform the physical labor that allowed me to benefit society. I no longer deserve to live here. I must find a place far from others. There, I will await a quiet death. This isn't someone accepting that they'll grow old. This is him refusing to grow old. If this spreads, we'll have no more old people at all. Hey, my expedi our expedition came back. Who cares about that guy? Because a we got this. a pirate I flag. Knew this would be big. What a, a snow treasure! <laughs> what a treasure! It just never gets old. Snow globe of growth. A snow globe received from the inhabitants of Tipo Island. <laughs> a small flower or flower inside blooms as its owner grows. Oh, now we have a uh, Kresnik Island. Really, Lance of Kresnik. An island ruled by cats. Only those uh, personally chosen by the feline emperor are permitted to land there. <laughs> that's that's amazing. <laughs> so many references. Sadly, I only recognize a select few. Uh, let's go look at our treasures real quick so I can read that. There are lilies blooming inside. Yep. They say this lily blooms as its owner grows. What a splendid item this is. As its owner grows, it, it like by getting stronger? Yes, yeah, strength is an easy bit of growth to measure, isn't it? Uh that means if you keep if you keep once you have wait, that means if you keep once you have washboard abs and bulging biceps, we'll have a gorgeous lily to admire as well. That's kinda I can't imagine that on the offset, but it'd still be hilarious. Bulging muscles and a flower, I'm not sure those go well together. Physical strength isn't the only form of growth, you know. For example, you might say enter you might enter a rebellious phase where you snap at any little thing Velvet might say, like, shut up, you hag. It's just a phase. Right, it's not a phase. I got the joke wrong. You guys keep bringing up the it's not a phase joke with Lafazette over and over again, and I never say it. <laughs> From a certain perspective, that's perfectly fine in form of growth. And that would make this flower bloom? I think it sounds even worse. Looks like there's something going on in front of the town. What's her goal right now, anyway? Just go to Logress. Yeah, I bet Logress is gonna look even worse than the port town did. Oh wait, there's someone out here. Pets consume precious resources and grant no tangible benefit to society. What? That's why I say we should throw them all back outside. It's only right. I threw away my friend's entire pet beetle collection. They have been purged. This is all for the new order. But I want to keep my rhino stag rose. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can laugh a set. Oh, this is really reminding me of a fun scene from Dragon Guard right now. Just saying. La 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 la. Watchers dance. That's fun. The Watchers dance. La 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 la. The Watchers they dance. It was the height of foolishness for a lowborn person like me to hold on to romantic fantasies about Prince Percival. 
I should seek a male companion suitable to my social status and live a life free of pointless desire and pride. Form, beauty, appearance, all are superfluous. Reason dictates that I seek a biological partner. Honestly, by not going after him, you probably, like, you probably dodged a bullet there, honestly. He's going to be more loyal to his bird than you. Who lets me live my life with greater efficiency. While what she's saying isn't technically wrong, it really, really creeps me out. <laughs> creeps me out less than her fanboying over Percival. I love how Velvet just sparkles when I use the, uh, holy bottle to keep away enemies. Even the capital is silent as death. Inominat's power did all of this. A god among gods. Actually, more people are outside than before, so... Fountains are purely decorative, and serve no purpose to the collective good of mankind. They must be purged. What? Not just the fountains. The streets and houses are filled with unnecessary extravagances. Comfort is another word for vanity. It is a lie that breeds only envy and war. All vanity must be purged. Yes. We cannot let ourselves be ruled by desire. We must control ourselves and lead lives of purity. If they keep abandoning desire after desire, eventually they'll abandon even their desire to live. Uh, does this count the exorcist too, or are they strong enough to kind of ignore what's going on here? It's kind of hard to tell, because he doesn't really need to take control of the exorcist. I probably should have saved. Shit. Isn't there anyone here who still has free thought? I hope so. There has to be. Shiguri's gonna step out from around the corner or something. That was a child. Save the children. What? I was Mommy! talking about Dragon Guard things, but s just hold up a second. Hold up a second. <laughs> this is getting too similar. For those of you who have played all endings of Dragon Guard, the original, I'm starting to see very similar things happening right now. <laughs> I'm scared! Mommy! Oh, that's the, uh. Don't show any feelings, dear. If they spot you, they'll. Oh, they're like centuries. Prince Percival! Tabitha! You're still you! Demons? The they make the generic you? harpy noise. Minion of Prophecy. If you want to live, get out of my way. I mean, she wasn't that strong, but taking her out sure wasn't easy. Thermal skewer. Tabitha, your mind's still your own? Yes, somehow. But Prince Percival and that girl. Looks like those Malakim took them away somewhere. Well, that's where the other two the were. Prince was trying to help us get away. He said that the Abbey was gathering those who still had control of their own will at the villa. We need to go after the Prince and see just what's going on at the villa. We don't know what sort of defenses they have at the front gate. Let's sneak in through the back. Good plan. Back into the catacombs, then. You got it. Actually, I actually have been meaning to go back there, because there's still that Code Red demon I never got to kill down there somewhere. I mean, I highly doubt it's all that important, seeing as how it was from the first little stretch of the game, but... Ma'am? Ma'am, are you having fun? Uh, no. N not at all. This is really boring and beneficial to society. Oh, okay, ma'am. Just, just making sure. You look like you are doing sick burnouts, and I 
Wanted to make sure you weren't having any fun. No, no, I'm just paving the streets. So those weren't demons. They were Malakim. Yes. They were probably ordered to hunt down any humans who still possess free will. Enominat isn't whole, and his oppressive powers are not yet absolute. So he must be using the Malakim to find anyone he missed and process them. Sounds like him. Process? Be it a prince, or a little girl. Yikes. I wonder if Tabitha's alright. I don't think she'll be suppressed so easily. Aye. She's got more grit than the average soldier. But even if she resists oppression, if the Abbey finds her, she'd stand out even more with us. She ran an entire shadow network. Finding a place to hide will be child's play for her. Maybe she was just pretending to be an old woman. Huh? But I really loved Tabitha's cooking. I'm just kidding. You don't run into a woman that tough every day. She's been living in society's shadows since before we were born. If she heard you were worried, she'd laugh and say you're wasting your time. Then we should be on our way to the villa. I hope they didn't refill this entire- Ooh! It was actually the, uh, board spot over here. I don't know what that blue mark means over there. I don't think I've ever seen that on the minimap before. Not this one, the one way down there. But I just hope they haven't, like, refilled this area with a bunch of new enemies that are my level, because that'd be kind of annoying. Just a bit. Oh, it's a teleporter to the end. I do like just reaching these constant gauntlets of bosses. Now, you guys were telling me that there were apparently a lot of books you can read in here, and you're super pissed at me that I didn't read any of them. <laughs> So, I might as well start now. The three rarest diseases. There are many diseases whose origins and causes remain unknown, but among them are three with no known cure. Demon Blight, a disease that causes humans to spontaneously turn to demons. It spread rapidly after the opening. Black Crystal Disease. I don't think I heard of this one before. A disease that causes humans to become a living mass of black crystal. I feel like this is going to come up more in uh, Zestiria. In the Twelve Year Sickness, a disease dooming afflicted children to repeat fevers, ending in death at 12 years of age. Honestly, in a universe with only three uncurable diseases, that's pretty good. What? Studies of resonance, an old manuscript of unknown origin. To perceive blank, one needs a stronger resonance than is needed to perceive monsters. There's This is one reason why there is much less recorded about them than demons and monsters. Oh, it's talking about Malakim, because at this point in the game, when you actually came in here, you didn't know about the whole secret to Malakim and all this. Furthermore, perceiving blank, source of calamity, requires not only resonance, but the influence of the Empyrean's domain. Is that... Is, I, I'm not sure anymore. The rest is blotted out and unreadable. Oh, that's pretty neat, though, that they put that in there. Desolation, a conspectus. Since ancient times, our world, an untamed wilderness, has been called by the name of Desolation. Midgan Kingdom occupies the known world, a continent, and its outlying islands surrounded by the vast outer seas. A far continent is said to exist on the other side of the outer seas, but those who go and seek of it never return. Population trend in the Kingdom of Midgan. The Kingdom of Midgan was formed after the end of the Asgard Warring States period. After the continent's unification, the kingdom saw a century of peace, under which its population swelled to 1.2 million. But in the ten years since the opening, the demon blight has claimed the lives of half the, pe or half of the kingdom's people. Thanks to the foundation of the abbey, the slide into chaos has been halted, and the population is held steady. The populace is now largely centralized in the cities, but some settlements remain outside lo royal control. Reading all this stuff brings me back to the Witcher. <laughs> Or wait, the really old Witcher LPs I did. Exorcist and Legend. Exorcists are people whose are whose latent resonances have been awakened by by the Empyrean Inominat's blessing. The Empyrean bestowed Malakim upon the resonant, who tethers them as so as to access incredible power. Some evidence suggests a very small number of people have manifested these extraordinary abilities throughout history. They were called saviors, mages, alchemists, and sometimes spirit mediums, frauds, and consorts of evil spirits. It is thought that some among their number possess similar powers to the exorcists of today. That might have to do with Mogulu. Exorcist ranks from the Abbey's records. There are currently around 3,000 orderlies and 100 praetors in active duty. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's see what's gonna go on down here. I bet Shigure or Melchior is already... My mind is... A channeling circle! He's eating their will directly! Alright, time to take out these 
demons. They're the real demons, not Velvet. Honestly, these angels are really fight or easy to fight as Aizen. Aside from when I get blindsided like that. And aside from when people keep dying constantly for no reason. Oh goodness, they're level 72. Am I that underleveled or are we supposed to be out of our league here? This doesn't feel like we are. So it feels like you can conquer them quite easily if you just do it good. <laughs> can you guys stop dying? There's nothing I can do to help keep you alive. Oh, I think we're about to die here. And I know you have to win this for a fact, like... Yeah. That was difficult. Way more it's difficult personal. than the game's portraying it right now. Uh, yes, thank you. Well, I know I can still feel scared out of my wits at least. <sighs> Is it it's too late for the right child? Now. We'll help you find your mommy, and then mm -hmm. he was executed. They killed her because she stole food to give to me. But that's okay. They had to. Mommy was acting against reason. Good God. <laughs> so this is the true face of their suppression. I kind of would have liked it if, like, Artorias sees what's going wrong, and he turns to a Nominat, and he's like, uh, this is what I wanted, just turn it off. And he's like, what, what do you mean, turn it off? You act like I know how to do that. Yes, this is the ideal world sought by Shepherd Artorias. As long as malevolence gave rise to demons, this was the only way. That's why the Kingdom of Midgan consented to his plan. But I will never consent. Artorius is literally causing more deaths than helping. If we get to Artorius and he says like, Oh, this is great, this is just what I wanted, then like, screw that guy. But... <laughs> if he's like, this isn't going quite as planned... There's gonna be a different story. A world without sadness, but also without joy. A world without hate, but also without love. You suppose the whole world's like this now? No. Even this close to the Empyrean's throne, some here have held on to their free will. Still, we don't have much time. Right. I can feel Inominat's domain spreading even now. It's incomplete, but it's quickly growing stronger. Even we might be suppressed if this keeps up, and then it'll be reason o'clock all day long. <sighs> Prince, Griffin is doing well. Good. That's good. <gasps> I'm happy. True. Oh no. Until now, I thought I was just a tool. To okay, never mind. I thought I was going nuts. But when my feelings were being torn from me, I felt myself want something. No, I thought. I don't want this. I don't want to lose who I am. I understand the true horror of this ideal world now. I know it's selfish to put this burden on you, but I beg you, stop all this. Stop, Shepherd Artorius. Well, who else are you gonna put it on? You said something to me once. A bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. And now I say this to you. People stripped of their feelings can never truly be alive. But penguins are birds? Yeah. That's how I used to be. We're going to defeat Artorius. We're going to make this world one where we can be ourselves. We're doing it for us, not for you. <laughs> You've changed, haven't you? You really have. 
You used to be a sword wielded by your own hatred. But now, you're in control. You're the one who swings the blade. <laughs> Even if I still don't know when to sheath it. Don't worry. When danger comes, I'll be there to protect you. My, I'm jealous. It must be nice to have a reliable young man like that by your side. It certainly is. Our fee's a gallant soul. Eisen, about Captain Eifried. I dealt with him. But the Abbey, they stomped all over Eifried's pride to achieve this suppression of theirs. With these hands, I will destroy them. Then I'm going to be selfish, too. And as just another flawed human being, I will offer a humble prayer that you succeed. Well, I'm pumped. Who wants to go cut our way into this throne of theirs? We can't just barge in, sword for brains. We gotta prepare. We stick to the plan. Wake up the four Empyreans and take Inominat's domain away from Mongo him. Mongo so grumpy. Artorius said the ceremony wouldn't be complete <laughs> until the Scarlet Knight. Will they complete the ceremony first, or will we awaken the Empyreans? It's a gamble. Well, moping won't get us anywhere. Let's head to Mount Killerhouse. Right. It's time to suppress the suppression. My favorite part about all these, like all the character designs in this game, is that a lot of them don't even look like they would come from the same game. Like they all look so foreign to each other. Eleanor, did the exorcists know about this when they agreed to help Artorius? They couldn't have. The exorcist I know fought for a world where people could live their lives in happiness and peace. But then how do you explain the fact that the exorcists seem to accept what's going on? Maybe that was just what I wanted to believe. It could be that Inominat's suppression is also affecting the exorcist. <laughs> no, Artorius just walked out of the food hall and they're like, uh, sir, it, this doesn't seem like a good thing. <laughs> Artorius is just like, free donuts for a year if you all shut up about it. And they're like, aye, sir. <laughs> you mean, Inominat might have taken control of their will and made them his tools? Completely believable. Exorcists are too hard-headed to be open to much persuasion. If I stayed with the Abbey, I might have accepted this world too. Thank you, Lafayette. It's your strength that protects my heart from wavering. You really think so? Of course I do. Have a little more self-confidence. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing I captured you then. That's true. I owe you my gratitude as well. Thank you. Seriously? Quite. To be able to express what's in my heart is a wonderful thing. You still drive me mad. But I can't disagree there. So weird. I can't get used to new Velvet. I, I mean, I like it better for sure, but still. Even when not yet fully awakened... Inominat can extend his reach to the entire world. The other towns are probably in the same sorry state as the ones we've seen. Or perhaps even worse. Mogilu, is there some art that can awaken Malakim? What do you mean? Well, if I could just use the flames of purification properly... Even if you could alter reality with that power, you'd end up destroying yourself in the process. Do you want to awaken that badly? I need more power. For Velvet's sake? For her too, but I hate what the Abbey is doing. It's just wrong. This world of theirs is without any joy. I just... want to do everything I can to stop them. This is what I want, with my own free will. And I... I know of no such art. And even if I did, it wouldn't help you. Huh? You've already found strength in your heart. There's no magic that can make that stronger. What you need is to be ready and determined. And to be brave. I guess you're right. Thanks, Moggy Lou. No thanks necessary. A hundred gold will cover it. Uh... You want me to pay you? Hey, good advice isn't free. What do I look like, a sidewalk psychiatrist? I'm a witch. She you look like a lot of things. so difficult. Magalu is difficult. She's the type of person that if I had to go to work and she was there every single day, I'm not sure if that would make my day more fun or just dreadful. <laughs> my, 
more dolls. Oh, hey, there's more Nor dolls in, um, Haria. 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 That's three Nor dolls collected, and one to go. Right. Usually that turtle shows up right about now. What gives? Turtles, loiters, embroiders? You mean, the turtles is late because he's taking too much time getting a new design for his robe? I knew you could follow along, my dear little oyster. Should we wait for him a bit longer? I'm sure your sister's reply has to be arriving soon. I don't write her those letters expecting to get a reply. They're more like an apology for not coming home to see her. But you can't go home because of the Reaper's curse, right? So why do you need to send letters and gifts? Soon after I left, my sister wrote me a letter. She said, I don't care if it's dangerous. I want to be with you. Aww. Maybe the old me, once I realized there was no fixing this curse, would have gone home prepared to do everything in my power to protect her. But I'm not the old me. Haven't been since I met Eifried and his crew. I understand. You found your place on that ship. Even if you lifted the curse, you wouldn't move back home. Do you think your sister knows that? I haven't told her directly, but I'm sure she's realized it. She's smart, and she's empathetic. That's why she never sends me a reply. You mean because she respects that you've chosen your way of life? That's probably how she sees it, yes. But understanding does not preclude loneliness. I think she doesn't reply as a way of showing that she disapproves. And you keep on sending those letters by way of atonement. I don't think it's anything so noble as that, but sure. You're probably not too far off the mark. A brother writing letters knowing he'll never get a reply. And a sister waiting for a brother she knows will never come home. You two make it so damn complicated. Just talk <laughs> it out face to face and make up already. It's not that hard. <sighs> it's just like grumpy At grump reaper time. the person you care about is still alive. Velvet. Are we done here? Let's go. That was harsh. Okay, well then, now that we've gotten that out of the way. Where to? There's still a cat's box here, or is that one I've already... I think that's one I already opened, that's why it's on the map. Oh, we just sail there. If you've ever played Dragon's Dogma, that is the largest defender of no... No fast travel ever. Oh, good. It seems you're both still here inside me then. You guys still mad about the whole killing you thing? Yep. It is not as though we desired these circumstances. We're only here because you ate us. And you were delicious. I'll make no apologies. You wish to sacrifice us to the four elemental Empyreans, is that it? Yes. I won't apologize for that either. It matters not. Your sins are nothing a mere apology could ever absolve. I know. At least you're aware of how selfish you are. Good for you, then. Remember this well, Lord of Calamity. No matter how many times I am reborn, I will act the same. As will I. So, you're going to be idiots who attack things without reason. Good to know. And I as well. Did you say something? Just dreaming is all. But I know now how deep my sins run. Velvet, there's something I've wanted to talk to you about. It's... it's about the Therians. And about Lafayette. Let me guess. The link between us and Inomi-Not. Yes. There's no way of knowing what will happen until we actually try, but... You don't have to worry about me. I said it before. Best just to blame all the wickedness of the world on the Lord of Calamity. Don't you try to shoulder all of this yourself! We exorcists are just as much at fault for letting things come to this. So let me ponder what to do about Kamoana and the rest. But you need to think about Lafayette. There, I've said my piece. <laughs> that face. <laughs> I don't know which of us is more stubborn. 
Still, I've got to face the truth. I've got to tell him. Oh, good. This place hasn't been suppressed yet. Are you sure about that? We're reloading. Give me a hand, will ya? Hey, you listening? Sorry. Something just feels weird. Like there's something tugging at my thoughts. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of that lately. But pull yourself together. Yeesh! Yet, being the operative term here. We'd better get a move on. Benwick, don't leave Kamoana or Medissa's domain. Got it? The Therians are part of Inominat. They should be able to resist suppression to some extent. Aye, aye. You watch yourself too, first mate. When the pirates are saving the world Mount for Killer fun. Mount Killerhouse is at the northern edge of Northgand. Bit of a trek. It'd be nice if we could resupply along the way. There's a town, Mercio, near the foot of the volcano. It faces the sea, but the currents lately have been too strong to approach it by water. However, the land route should still be clear. The whole continent has been getting colder of late, not just Northgand. Colder? Could it have something to do with Enominot? Or maybe it's because the elemental Empyreans are asleep. Both sound possible. But think too hard about the cold, and it'll give you the shivers. Yeah, but even so... Whatever the case, our course remains the same. We'll head to Mercio and work from there. My son came home from the capital and said he'd take over the family fishing business. That was always my dream. But is it really best for the world? For him to waste his talents on such a primitive activity? Dad, what are you saying? I thought we talked about this. You should use your education to help the country and people all across the world. That is the way of reason. That guy is acting really oddly. Wait, we talked about this? Yeah. You agreed that I should use my knowledge to advance fishing technology and stabilize the world's food supply. Remember? Fishing technology? Oh. Yes, that's right. Shape up, Dad. What's the problem? Drinking too much? Just a nightcap before bed. If you need some rest, I'll take the boat out myself today. <laughs> That'd be the day. Like I'd put you in charge. You're not ready to take the boat out by yourself. An ill-fated fisherman's fortune. His memories are muddied. But is it divine will that dulls his wits, or drink? A sailor who can't handle his drink is just as shameful as one who gets seasick. Well, then I guess I would be a shameful sailor, because I can't take any vehicle for over, like, two seconds. Seems like there's still a lot of stuff going on around here. People aren't completely- Daddy, we're having a long-armed crab hot pot party when you come home tonight! As the world gets colder, the long-armed crab's habitat expands. Do your best out there today! If the crabs breed too quickly, it will affect the fish. Hey, that guy is... Daddy? You're acting weird. Oh, sorry about that. My mind just wandered away from me there for a second. If you do that on your boat, you'll fall into the sea. Yeah, that's right. I'll be careful. Good luck out there! That boy's father, he was acting strangely. The suppression is starting to affect people out here, too. Actually, I'm pretty sure if he did that out on the boat, a Nominaut would be like, jump into the water. You can't catch cred, save your life. And he's like, I guess I'm worthless then. We opened our arms and welcomed that vagabond into our town. But despite our kindness, he robbed us, started fights, caused trouble. Then he stole a boat and escaped. Which means I he's probably dead. I was the let him go. I'm guilty, too. We have to be strict with criminals. Rogues always seem to drift into hell of ease, don't they? Huh? Were we talking about something? Wait, did you forget what you just said? Yeah, 
I hope I didn't say anything strange. We were talking about how nice of a guy you were. Huh? Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Huh? <laughs> actually really nice people in our party sometimes. All right then, let's actually going to check the inn once more. I highly doubt there's anything in there. There hasn't been anything in the inns very uh very recently. And there is. Welcome, cold out there, isn't it? Come on in, rest up a while, won't you? Sure. Say, say, yeah! Reuse of shirtless Rokuro asset once again. I see you're at it again. Am I that predictable? That stance. It's called nothingness, right? A clear state of mind and all that. <laughs> Does it look meditative or something? I wish it was, but really it's the exact opposite. It brings out all my negative thoughts. My hatred, my doubts, my ego, my anger. I take up my sword to cut myself free of such wrongful emotions. At least, that's what I used to think. But that's just not possible, is it? Not for anyone. Hell, even if I could let go of that part of myself, I'm not sure I'd want to. Because if you let go of your desire to kill Shigure, you'd lose your purpose in life? My spiteful thoughts, my wrongful feelings, my pride, my inner contradictions... All these are parts of who I am. What are you even going to do after you kill Shigure? <laughs> Through practice, I learn to embrace who I am. The good and the bad. And become the swordsman only I can be. That's the only way I will achieve what cannot be done. Defeating Shigure. And Shigure. He's already at peace with his inner self. Exactly. And so are you. You really think so? I do. That's why I will never give up. Besides, I still need to repay my debt to you. Well, I look forward to seeing the final results. That's for sure. I swear every one of these scenes, the game's just like, hey, hey. <laughs> the developer's like, we have our own tiny little ship here. You guys need to follow along in the dinghy boat. Not saying anything or implying anything, but we're implying things. Yeah, it's even colder here than last time. You're right. It was merely freezing before. Now it goes straight to the bone. Allow me to warm. Not Nessa. Uh, uh, oh, the stasis are going around. What? Uh, so cold. If it's this bad here, I dread to think of what the Guyberg Ice Field is like. The tundra past Mount Killer House. Is it really that cold? I've stayed up in the mountains many times for my training. With all the snow, I imagine it'd be pretty rough for a normal human. <laughs> Why are you sneezing all of a sudden? Demons aren't supposed to feel cold. Nah, a snowflake just flew up my nose and. Achoo! Oh. You're sneezing too. My hair was blowing around and tickled my nose. But according to the old book I read, <laughs> it isn't supposed to snow much around Guy Burke. Because of lava from the volcano and the Earth's natural heat. I bet the book calls it Guy Burke Plains too. Yeah. It says Mount Killerhouse was highly active, and the area used to be famous for its hot springs. But now it's... Uh... What? Why are you all staring? They're all expecting you to sneeze, I think. Everyone else is doing it! Now give us a good show! Ah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh... <laughs> what is this? Ah. <laughs> uh... Sorry, everyone. No sneezes here. I'll practice for next time. Oh, good grief. I just want Aizen to uh, sneeze and those giant wings come out of his back. <laughs> That'd be awesome. This is pretty extreme. It's only a bit further to the town of Mercio. And once we're past Mercio, we'll find our destiny on Mount Killaros. I know it's supposed to be cold here. But I didn't think it would be this cold. Reviving the elemental Empyreans is bound to alter this weather. <sighs> I'm not sure how much warmer it'll get in the time we'll still be alive. Keep moving. The cold and the climb don't matter. We have to move forward. We can't stop until the elemental Empyreans have been... 
Did I just skip that? I apologize. I did not mean to. <laughs> I really did not mean to. Well, if we're lucky, the area won't be filled with a bunch of puzzles. If we're unlucky, it'll be the worst one yet, but it looks pretty open. Reminds me of the area outside Stoneberry. And there are ghosts, and all the monsters here are reused. It's fine, though. Our objective is actually right up there, and we can already use the board once we get over there. Who would build a temple all the way out here, and for what reason? I see a door over here in the exorcist in front of it, but what's this? A mini game? Cats all the way out here? Be the best fisher you can be for the sake of fishing. Fishing rules? You got a hungry loafer on your hands. Be a sport and fish up something to eat, would you? Use the bait at the fishing hole near the hungry loafer. There are three types of bait that can be found as you explore the world. Each type of bait is different. Uh, the loafer will eat the fish you catch and thank you by giving you TL coins based on the type of fish it was. In addition, each fishing hole has its own legendary big one. The majesty of these fish of, is not too much, even for the loafer, who will not eat them out of awe and respect. You will gain a special reward for every... Okay. Yeah, I can fish. Hawk roach. Better learn how to do this first. Oh, it's just... It's autonomous. It's, uh, it's entirely autonomous. Like, I'm not doing anything. Velvet just fishes it out. They don't seem to be worth all that much, honestly. Sorry, little guy, just don't see the point in this right now. Oh my goodness, it's a skull belt buckle. A morgue of Ifrit's crew, or crew, wearing it will get you put on wanted posters. Yes, that's made for Aizen. You can tell that accessory is just for Aizen. But you can put it on everyone if you want, I guess. Even though it won't fit her at all. Oh, it actually goes up on her. Okay. I was about to say, is she just going to pin that to her skin? This is ridiculous! Is this Mercio? Three days on watch with no sleep? I was ten freaking minutes late! It's not like the mine is going to fall apart! Hey, uh... Sure, whatever! If you got business here, go on in! Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> They'll pay for this! Abby has some harsh working conditions. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna turn around and actually grind a little bit this time now that I have the chance and some proper enemies who are near my level. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know it was a little quiet this time around, but we're getting near the end of the game. That was my hundredth save. <laughs> because I save very aggressively. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go and kill these monsters and I'll see you on the next episode where we, I think we're gonna be taking on Shigure. It seems like he's the next one. It's gonna be, uh, Shigure and then finishing off Melchior and then finally Artorius. And then, no, we're not, if they're not the same fight. Anyways, see you guys on the next episode. Thank you for watching the series and if you like it, please leave a like. It helps a lot. Have a wonderful day. Right now.